you know, I'm ready to start back giving you guys that good content. You know, I'm switching it up a little bit. The content is not going to be like how it used to be. Well, it's going to be a mixture, but it will be it will be um switched up, and that's what we going at with this here. And I can't wait to get back on there and interact with you guys and make it happen. Right now, my voice is at 80%. It's not where it need to be. I'm not comfortable yet with how it sounds, but, you know, within a week or so, I should be back in business. We'll definitely see. We'll check it out, and we'll see what we can do from now. You know, a lot of things that I was doing that I could not do verbally, I was doing behind the scenes cyberly. And that's dealing with NFTs, crypto, things of that nature there. You know, you just can't go wrong with making investments in yourself. A lot of people are content. They don't know what it's like to invest in themselves. They don't know what it's like to take the risk to go out and do it. You know, but I do it. You know, but I do know how to. I've done it before and I'm aiming to do it again. You know, it's just about being committed. And commitment is something that a lot of people possess. Commitment is something that we naturally have as human beings. However, commitment is also something that a lot of us fear. You know, because we fear failure. And we really need to break out of that mentality. Because as long as we fear failure, there's not too many places in this world you're going to allow yourself to go at. You know, the only person that could stop you with doing anything that you're trying to do or is willing to do is yourself. You're the only one that could stop you from getting where you need to be at in life. Just you. It's only you. The bottom line is just we need to focus more on having greater, having greater things in life. We need to focus on, if you have children, focus on generational wealth. If you have a girlfriend or a wife or a significant other, focus on creating the best life that you could possibly imagine creating with that individual. But it takes two people to want to do it, you know. A lot of cases, it's this one person who want to succeed, want to take it to the next level, but you have the partner who just don't see your vision. You have a partner who just can't see that far. So when you find yourself in a situation like that with someone who don't see what you can see or willing to take it there, like you willing to take it there, in some cases you have to learn how to walk away from that person. Because that person means you no good. You know, a lot of times we, we deal with people because of how they make us feel. We need to start dealing with people based on what can we build. Because getting in a relationship with somebody is very easy. You could be 60 years old and still find the love of your life. But the opportunity to become successful is very slim. Some people don't even get the opportunity to become successful. And yet, we'll throw it all away due to how someone makes us feel. And this goes for both men and women. So our focal points need to definitely be on something a little more different than how a person makes us feel. You know, I for one, don't know what that feels like to put anything before me trying to become successful in life. I don't even understand that language. So it's pretty much the end of this video. I'm not going to bore you all with it. You know, I'm just giving you guys an update on my absence.